Number 42, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assigned. Okay, so then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to rank uh, these two compounds in terms of increasing acidity. So the first thing is we got to figure out what types of acids these are. Now, we might be able to get away with, a, with an answer right off the bat by knowing our six strong acids. But if we look, you know, or if we, you know, look back into our mind about the six strong acids, all three of these are on there. So that's not good. <laughs> so we're dealing with all strong acids here. But now the thing is, who is the winner, right? Who is the more acidic out of the bunch? Well, it turns out that all three of these are uh, binary acids because they all have a hydrogen and then they have a random element next door, right? Those are binary. Binary means two, right? Bi in chemistry means two. So in binary acids, you're only allowed to have uh, two total elements. So I have hydrogen and chlorine, hydrogen and bromine, hydrogen and iodine. Now, on the binary acid trend on the periodic table, this little box is the periodic table, right? You're not going to look at the hydrogens because those are similar to all three of the elements. You're going to look at the elements that are not the hydrogens. So the chlorine, the bromine, and the iodine. So I go on my periodic table, I say, okay, Chlorine is right here, then right below it is bromine, and then right below it is iodine. They're all in the same group. So as you go down a group, your acidity increases. So let's see, we have to do this in terms of increasing acidity. So that means that we're going to be doing it, and I'll do it over here. We'll do it from least acidic. Oh, gosh. Christina, we got to spell right. Le least acidic to most acidic. Maybe I'll just put this down here. Okay. Acidic. So as you're going down a group, acidity will increase. So Cl would be less, then comes bromine, then comes iodine, because you're increasing as you're going down. So HCl would be the least acidic out of the bunch, even though it's a strong acid. Then comes HBr, then comes HI. High, high is the most acidic. Don't get that on your hands. So now we just got to do the, uh, you know, the, the alligator, the less than or equal than sign. So least, lesser, this would be your answer. Maybe I'll just box it off. Okay. Now they do say, explain the order as you assigned. So we just have to tie this idea into why, right? Why is this the case? Why is this trend the case? This comes from your atomic radius. Also, as you go down a group, your radius will increase. So chlorine, bromine, and iodine. If I did give, if I did give um, dots to this, maybe I'll spread these out like this. Chlorine would have to be a little dot, right, in the grand scheme of things. But as you're going down, you're increasing in radius. So the circle is going to increase. Bromine is going to be bigger. But then iodine is going to be bigger. Right? And maybe I'll just go like that. Okay, beautiful. So iodine would be the biggest atom. Then comes bromine. Then comes chlorine. So this would be, we'll say this is HCl, this is HBr, and this is HI. Now just to indicate the H on there, I'm just going to put a small dot because hydrogens are very, very, very small. Beautiful. Now look at the bond between hydrogen and chlorine. Look at the length of it. And then the bond between hydrogen and bromine from center to center. And then the bond between hydrogen and iodine, center to center. Seems like this would be the closest bond. They're closer to each other. They're very, very close to each other, right? So this would have the closest bond. And as you're going farther and farther and farther away, the bond is getting farther and farther and farther away. 
So we'll say farther bond or, you know, bigger bond. We'll say a longer bond is, is, we'll say longest bond out of these two. Now remember, acids love to see their hydrogen leave. They want their hydrogen to be donated. They want their hydrogen to leave. But if you have a close bond, that's not really going to work, right? As well as if you had a farther away bond and the hydrogen can just leave, right? If you had somebody really, really close in your life and one day they just got up and left, they got donated, right? In terms of chemistry, the chlorine would be devastated. But if you look at the HI, if this hydrogen leaves, the iodine's like, eh, whatever. I wasn't really close anyway. But the easier for this hydrogen, well, the easier for this hydrogen to leave, the better the acid. So it's just because iodine has the largest radius. Or actually we'll say we'll just say over here, you know, atomic radius increases. from, you know, left to right as well. And that's why the higher the radius, the more acidic. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool channel exists. We also have physics and math videos at the moment. And at the moment, we're almost at 20K, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, and it's all because of you guys. So if you wouldn't mind, please press that subscribe button just gets the word in the YouTube universe that, you know, there's good educational content out there. Thank you so much. And I will be helping you in later lessons. Bye-bye.